Hi, this is James Harrison, back to do some more brush video lessons for you. Today's lesson is going to be on playing in two, or what's called a two feel. And if you don't know what that means, it basically means one thing. When you play in 4-4, four, four, the bass player is going one, two, three, four, a doom, 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 walking in four, three, four, one, two, three, four. A two feel, or playing a two, basically means you're going to outline the half note. The one and the three, if you don't know what a half note is, it's beats one and three. Or the bass player would go boom, boom, one, three, one, three. And so we have specific patterns or patterns that we can play that outline that two feel. Oftentimes drummers, or especially young drummers, will see that in the music it says two feel. And you don't really know what that means. So that's what it basically means. You're going to outline the half note. One of the simplest ways you can do that is to go back to that first brush pattern that we learned in 4-4. Four, four. If you remember, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Most basic pattern. Let's just get rid of beats 2 and 4. You can move it, don't hit them. 1, 2, ready, go. 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3. So what that does is it outlines boom, 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 boom. So that's one pattern you can do if you're not comfortable with anything else. Just do that pattern. That would work as a two feel. Okay? Another thing you can do is just keep your brush here and don't even go over there and play the two and four. Just play it. One, three. Now, I like to put a little bit of an emphasis on beat two. Not a heavy sweep or anything, but just a light little push. One, three, one, three, one, three, one, three. It doesn't give that staccato attack that a hi-hat or something else would, so it still gives a feel of playing in two. One, two, three, four. One, three. I feel more comfortable with this and I think everybody else does. We hear all the beats just slightly. Boom, boom. Now I'm gonna go into four. And here we go. Boom, boom, boom. patterns you can do for a two feel. Remember to take the basic pattern, don't hit beats two and four. One, two, one, and two. Or keep it there. And you can emphasize a little bit here. All those patterns work really well. Let's try it a little bit faster so you can get a feel for it. One, two, a one, two, three, four, four. four. See, this is kind of what you would call a, a phantom note. Not hit it, but make the motion. Now I'm going to leave it over here on the right. Boom, 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 boom. Kick it four. A one, two, three. Okay, that's two basic patterns you can do based on that first pattern we did. A pattern that I was taught when I was young that I really like a lot is a two feel where your hands are at nine and three o'clock on that, remember that clock face, and what we're going to do is uh, kind of make the shape of uh, like an eyeball. One hand's going to go like this, like a semicircle. The other one goes the other way. Uh, eyeball, football, oval, whatever you want to call it. 
So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. Oh, one is the first move. Now I'm going to stretch around. Right hand's going over like this. Left hand's coming under and doing this. So one, two, three, four. A one. Now I could do that over and over again. A one, a three, a one, a three, four, 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 four. Or I can reverse the directions. A four, four. do is put a little bit of a two and four in there but very lightly so I'll do this one two three four a one two a one two a one a two one direction a one a two a one slow it down a one three a one two I can change a one get comfortable with that you'll mess around with it. you can change the patterns you can stay one way whatever you want whatever you're comfortable with I don't really play a strict pattern with it I might do two of these and then come back one I don't know um, my, my, my teacher said this is the pattern where you can do a lot of motions and draw attention to yourself so you know uh, I saw other people doing this Louis Belson Jeff Hamilton a lot of people will use this pattern and and do a lot of motions with it, and it, it's, it looks pretty cool, but it goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, so big motions. You don't have to just be like this. You can. Mess around a little bit, make it look cool. then that's probably not a good pattern for you. That's a good medium tempo pattern. If you have to play something really fast, boom, 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 boom. that's where you might want to keep pattern over here and just, uh, for instance, Cherokee, da, 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 you know, da, 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 da. Bass players and drummers, if you have to play several courses of this, often get really tired of playing do, 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 do. So oftentimes, at the beginning of a solo, they'll play. Doom, 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 doom. You could do that. So before you kick in, outlining it heavy four again, just outlining it. Make it sound like a two feel. So obviously, it doesn't work at a fast tempo. So keep medium to slow tempos, two feel, a couple of basic patterns for you. Give them a try. See how they work out.